Hello students, in the previous session we learned how to calculate the area between the two curves with the help of some examples. In this session too, we will master the same concept with the help of few challenging questions. Here first question is, using integration find the area of the region bounded by the triangle whose vertices are minus 1 comma 0, 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 2. For the solution, as the given vertices of the triangle are A minus 1 comma 0, B 1 comma 3 and C 3 comma 2, we can see in the figure here A is minus 1 comma 0, C is 3 comma 2 and B is 1 comma 3. We need to find out the area of the triangle between these three vertices. Firstly, we will calculate the equation of line AB. Equation of AB is y minus 0 is equal to 3 minus 0 upon 1 plus 1 into x plus 1 that gives y is equal to 3 upon 2 into x plus 1. Equation of BC is y minus 3 is equal to 2 minus 3 upon 3 minus 1 into x minus 1 that gives y is equal to minus 1 upon 2 into x plus 7 upon 2. Equation of line AC is y minus 0 is equal to 2 minus 0 upon 3 plus 1 into x plus 1. That implies y is equal to 1 upon 2 into x plus 1. Therefore, the required area is equal to area of the triangle ABC that is obtained by calculating area of triangle ABD plus area of triangle BCD that is equal to area of region AEDB plus area of EFCB minus area of AEFC that can be calculated as integral minus 1 to 1 3 upon 2 into x plus 1 dx plus integral minus 1 to 3 minus 1 upon 2 x plus 7 upon 2 dx minus integral minus 1 to 3 1 upon 2 into x plus 1 dx. On applying limits, we have 3 upon 2 into x square upon 2 plus x with limits minus 1 and 1 plus minus x square upon 4 plus 7 upon 2 into x with limits 1 and 3 minus 1 upon 2 into x square upon 2 plus x with limits minus 1 and 3 that is equal to 3 upon 2 into 1 upon 2 plus 1 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 plus minus 9 upon 4 plus 21 upon 2 minus of minus 1 upon 4 plus 7 upon 2 minus 1 upon 2 into 9 upon 2 plus 3 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 that is equal to 3 upon 2 into 3 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 21 upon 2 minus 7 upon 2 plus minus 9 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 minus 1 by 2 into 9 by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 3 plus 1. On solving, we have 3 upon 2 into 2 plus 7 minus 2 minus 1 upon 2 into 4 plus 4 that gives 3 plus 5 minus 4. Therefore, the required area is 4 square units. Let us look at one more different type of example here. Sketch the graph of y is equal to modulus x plus 3 and evaluate integral minus 6 to 0 modulus of x plus 3 dx. For the solution, the given function is y is equal to modulus of x plus 3. For this, we prepare a table for x and y coordinates minus 6, 3, minus 5, 2, minus 4, 1, minus 3, 0, minus 2, 1, minus 1, 2, 0, 3, 1, 4 and 2, 5 are the respective ordered pairs we obtain from the equation y is equal to modulus of x plus 3. Since 
modulus of x plus 3 is equal to minus of x plus 3 for x plus 3 is less than equal to 0 and x plus 3 for x plus 3 greater than 0. We can see in the figure a coordinate is minus 6 comma 3 and b is 0 comma 3 and therefore, the required integral minus 6 to 0 modulus of x plus 3 dx can be calculated as integral minus 6 to minus 3 modulus of x plus 3 dx plus integral of minus 3 to 0 modulus of x plus 3 into dx. Thus, integral minus 6 to 0 modulus of x plus 3 dx can be written as minus of integral minus 6 to minus 3 x plus 3 dx plus integral minus 3 to 0 x plus 3 dx that is equal to minus of x square upon 2 plus 3 x with limits minus 6 minus 3 plus x square upon 2 plus 3 x with limits minus 3 and 0 that is equal to minus of 9 upon 2 minus 9 minus 36 upon 2 minus 18 minus 0 plus 0 minus 9 upon 2 minus 9 that gives us on calculations 9 upon 2 plus 9 upon 2 that is equal to 9 square units. Now, let us look into one more example find the area of the region bounded by y is equal to x square plus 1, y is equal to x, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2. For the solution first note that the curve y is equal to x square plus 1 that is y minus 1 is equal to x square represents an upward parabola with the vertex at 0 comma 1 and it is in the first quadrant x is equal to square root of y minus 1. The shaded area is to be calculated here. The equation here is y is equal to 2 and the parabola is y is equal to x square plus 1. The shaded area O B C A is to be calculated. Therefore, the required area is equal to the area of the shaded region that is equal to integral 0 to 2 y dy minus integral 1 to 2 square root of y minus 1 into dy that is equal to y square upon 2 with limits 0 and 2 minus y minus 1 power 3 upon 2 divided by 3 upon 2 with limits 1 and 2. On applying the limits we have 2 minus 0 minus 2 upon 3 into 1 minus 0 that gives 2 minus 2 upon 3. Therefore, the required area is 4 upon 3 square units. Prove that the curves y square is equal to 4 x and x square is equal to 4 y divide the area of the square bounded by x is equal to 0, x is equal to 4, y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4 into 3 equal parts. For the solution the equation y square is equal to 4 x represents a right hand parabola with vertex 0 comma 0 that is origin and the equation x square is equal to 4 y represents an upward parabola with vertex at origin 0 comma 0. A rough sketch of the two given parabolas and the square bounded by the lines x is equal to 0, x is equal to 4, y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4 is shown in the figure. We have here y is equal to 0, x is equal to 4, y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 0 this forms a square and we need to show that the area of the square is divided into 3 equal parts having equal area. The area bounded between the curves y square is equal to 4 x and x square is equal to 4 y is given by integral 0 to 4 2 root x minus x square upon 4 dx that is equal to 2 into x to the power 3 upon 2 divided by 3 upon 2 minus 1 upon 4 into x cube upon 3 with limits 0 and 4. On applying the limits we have 4 upon 3 into 
4 raised to 3 upon 2 minus 0 minus 1 upon 12 into 4 to the power 3 minus 0. That gives 32 upon 3 minus 16 upon 3 and we get 16 upon 3 square units as the required area. The area of the region bounded by the parabola x square is equal to 4 y and the lines x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 0 is given by integral 0 to 4 x square upon 4 dx that is equal to 1 upon 4 into x cube upon 3 with limit 0 and 4 that gives us 16 upon 3 square units as the area. Take this as the second equation. The area of the region bounded by the parabola y square is equal to 4 x and the lines x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4 is given by integral 0 to 4 x dy that is equal to integral 0 to 4 y square upon 4 dy that gives 1 upon 4 into y cube upon 3 with limit 0 and 4. On calculating we get 16 upon 3 square units as the area. Now, taking this as the third equation, we can observe that from equations 1, 2 and 3, it follows that the area of the square bounded by the given lines is divided by the given curves into three equal parts. Is it not an interesting problem? So, students note down the home assignment questions. Question number 1, using method of integration, find the area bounded by the curve modulus of x plus modulus of y is equal to 1. Question number 2, find the area enclosed between the parabolas y square is equal to 4 a x and x square is equal to 4 a y where a is greater than 0. So, students in this chapter we learnt how to calculate the area below the simple curves with the help of integration. We also learnt how to calculate the area between the two given curves with the help of integration. Thank you. Thank you.